Hello again. This lecture is on displacement time graphs of velocity. And by velocity, I mean constant velocities. Uh, as always, you need three or more bullet points worth of notes, one to two sentence summary, and to do your follow-up questions on Google Forms if they are available. All right, so first of all, oftentimes we think about constant velocity as something that is moving at a constant speed or a constant velocity. But that velocity could actually be zero. So let's also talk about things that aren't moving or velocities of zero, like I mentioned. Um, this could also be called a constant position, where on a position time graph, literally the position does not change, where over a longer period or long period of time, or even a short period of time, the position is staying the same value. Now, it doesn't have to be at zero. We can think about something that is staying the same position or displacement or at the same distance um, that happens to be positive. So maybe instead of staying at exactly the zero point, it's somebody who's standing still at the five meter mark. Um, it could also be somebody who's standing at the same position at a negative displacement or a negative uh, position. Negative, remember, just means opposite of whatever you called a positive. Nothing too special about it. So with each of these, a flat line on a position graph means position is not changing, hence the constant pattern, um, and therefore it is a constant position graph. So what if somebody's moving at a consistent velocity? So uh, that is non-zero. Well, what we would expect is that each second that goes by or each chunk of time that goes by, their position increases by the same amount. So here maybe they go for one second and their position goes up two. And then they go for one more second and their position goes up two again. So on position time graphs, constant velocity or constant speed looks like a straight line. So basically a proportional pattern or a linear pattern, depending on where that line is. Now, a velocity can also be negative, meaning opposite direction. Um, and so we can show that just by showing a uh, line that goes down or a straight line that it goes down. Remember, this would only be for velocities, not for speeds, since speeds are not negative. Now, let's think about a scenario real fast, and this will help explain a little bit more info we can pull from this graph. But uh, we've got two people here. They're, they're going for a walk. Uh, we have person A and person B. Uh, who, which person got a head start or which person like started in front of the other person? All right, so hopefully you took a look at this graph and you realize, oh, even at time zero, person A is already up here at, let's say, five meters. So they kind of got a head start from person B. They didn't start in the exact same position. So what that tells us is that the y-intercept on our position time graphs tells us the starting position. So whatever the y-intercept is, it's kind of like saying, oh, this is your whatever the y-axis represents at time zero, in this case, position or displacement or distance. So we can see how y-intercept will tell us the kind of starting position of something. So then my next question is, what does this graph tell us? So in other words, which person's moving faster? Is it person A or person B? All right, so hopefully you took a look at this and you said, okay, well, for the same amount of time from zero to, let's say, right here, then we would get that person B went this far, but person A went this far. So person A is traveling further or has a bigger change in position than person B in the same amount of time. Well, change in position is displacement. And so really what that means is we get person A is moving faster than person B. We can also think about this in terms of slope where the steeper slope represents somebody who's moving faster. Now I use the word steeper, not bigger, because we could also have a steep slope in the negative direction or kind of going down in that case. So steepness shows you speed or how fast something is moving. Um, and then whether it's up or down, um, so positive or negative just tells you the direction. So just to recap that real fast, steeper slopes equal faster on position time graphs or distance time graphs. So that brings us also to the idea that since steeper slope means faster or slower, we can actually use the slope to calculate the speed or velocity um, using a position time graph. So here what that means is on a position time graph, if we uh, look at rise divided by run or change in position divided by time, that really is the same as doing distance or displacement divided by time. And so as a result, 
uh, what we get is that the slope from this line is going to be our velocity of the marble rolling on a table in this case. So we could plug in and calculate 2 minus 0, so we get the change in y, 2 minus 0, divided by the change in x, 1 minus 0, and so our velocity or speed would be 2 meters per second, where the 2 and the 0 were in meters, and the 1 and the 0 were in seconds, and so that's how we get meters per second. That's it for me. Hopefully this helps you understand uh, position time graphs a little bit better and what constant velocity looks on it. Look forward to in the future going through things that don't stay a constant velocity, but not in this unit. As always, three more bullet points worth of notes, a one to two sentence summary, and if we have any follow-up questions on a Google form or elsewhere, you need to take care of those.